Please welcome Wonder Mike and Master G. What's up, man? Good morning, man. How are you? Real pleasure. Nice to see you. Good, 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 nice good, good, Welcome good, to the show. Good. How you doing? How's things? Always good. Always <laughs> good. <laughs> got to look up. You got, you got to look up. Oh. Well, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. It's, a, it's um. Wow, what a story to have to tell, right? <laughs> you know, make a documentary, but hey, I want my name back because you really, you guys really did. Yeah. Have to, you went through the ringer in this. Literally, movie. yeah. Literally. Did you know this was like? I mean, just let's go. Let's start from the beginning. Let's go back to the late '70s. Set the stage for what was happening culturally. Well, you know, at that time, you gotta understand it. There was no such thing as a rap star. Yeah. You know, the, it was all in the street. It was a total street situation. Yeah. And uh, you know, Sylvia Robinson, God rest her soul, she had the idea because she went to a party yeah. to see, you know, to put it into a record. And yeah. then, uh, you know, Rapper's Light becomes this song. Right. Becomes this song. When you're laying it down, do, 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 does an artist know what they're what they're making? Never. never. You never know when history is being made when you're doing it. Yeah. You know, we it just, took one time yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. They they put the three of us in the studio, and they they press they press record, and we just kept going. And we were so naive, <laughs> we just kept on rapping. That's why the song is so long. Right. So people, yeah, people, people really don't think they think we did that. Yeah, we just did, the, we didn't know to stop. Yeah. Doing we just the kept going. Throwdown. Yeah. You were just making we were up. I mean, it up. that long. This film and this this story, this idea that essentially you guys are, you know, make history with this song and mm -hmm. then it's taken from you. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sugar Hill Gang is other people tour as a Sugar Hill. Other people tour as your name. Yes. Yeah. Other people go on and saying, yes. I'm Master G, you know. Other people pretend to be you. Like that. It's crazy. I mean, people know what identity theft is, but this is a completely different version of that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 like almost frightening how how bad it really is. I mean, you know, we have actually an individual. I came to the record company with the name Master G. I mean, I was doing Master G at parties with a group called Sound uh, Phase Two, which was wow. you know, better than. <laughs> and he was in a group called Sound and Sound. I was in a group called Phase Two. But anyway, this guy actually literally was so, I guess, envious or whatever the case may be, that when I, when I stepped away from the music scene, he took over and was trying to, like, you know, erase my, you know, my legacy. And it's, it's frightening when you think, you know, you could say I'm Master J or I'm Master Q or whatever, but yeah. you can't be, I mean, he could never be me. You know, there's only one me. I For mean, sure. Absolutely. When yeah. did you know you were being exploited? Early on. Yeah? Yeah, or in the very beginning. I mean, we always knew something was wrong. We, we, we kind of always knew something wrong because what would happen is somebody would, from the outside, would come and say, you know, well, you know, what is the, well, how is the management the same as the record company? Yeah, yeah you know? the conflict of interest. Right. right, so we'd go and we'd ask a question, well, uh, uh, is the management, the, you know, the same as, and then we'd get all of this conversation and it was a lot of flack <laughs> yeah. and, you know, we'd get blown <laughs> off. Yeah. But, and like I said, we always knew something was wrong, but we just couldn't put a finger well, on it. What do you think about the, the rumors of, of the mob? I mean, that, you know. Oh, we knew that, that was real. The money, the oh, money. Oh, that was real. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We used to see people come up, man. The car, the Cadillac would pull up in the parking lot, and you know the guys would get out with the suits and walk in. You know, and there was a reception area. Normally, everybody stopped. Yeah. You know, these cats would walk in and walk past the reception area and walk in the office, and they'd close the door and they'd walk out. Well, so, you know, so it was real. So then, years later, you guys are out of this game, right? I mean, were I, you, I stepped away. Yeah. Were you so we disgusted? Both stepped away. Yeah. Were we you disgusted yeah. by what happened? Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. I just walked. We, well, I walked away like first. And just because I was, like I said, we could never put our finger on it. So I just, uh, you know, I went off and went into my business for myself and, you know, started living life. And then Mike stayed for a little while and then he left. And then we just, you know, totally just didn't want to be a part of it at all. We've had a lot of guys on the show talk about uh, Sugar Hill Gang, what the song meant to them. Can we see some of that? Oh, really? It was a landmark song for, um, for people who uh, didn't know hip hop and didn't know the unique voice. Early hip hop, not what you're hearing now. This stuff won't be around at all. K on and ETMB. Yeah. Talking about it. Yeah. 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 Do you feel like you got the respect you deserve, though? Actually, I'm gonna let yes. you answer that one too. <laughs> that, no, for you. <laughs> at first, being from Jersey, we didn't get the respect from the New York rappers. And then when the song blew up, we ended up kicking the door open for everyone else in hip hop to get their to get their deals and, and all their money because now we made it acceptable. So now whenever we run into other artists, other hip hop artists, they give us bad respect. Of course you have the clowns and the haters, but we don't worry about them. So we just it's all love, love. Who are the clowns and haters? Who clowned the hate on that song? <laughs> That's what makes them clowns and haters. <laughs> I think a lot, some of it is, some of it is superficial though, I think. Yeah. I think because, you know, you gotta think about rock and roll. All of the icons of rock and roll are doing mega, mega, mega things. Yeah. And they get the respect from the people that came after them. Right. 
Rap music doesn't do that. Yeah. How do you think you can change that, or can it change? Well, I think what we're doing now. Exactly. I think what we're doing now. I think the, the fact that people understand that there was a, a, a beginning, a, a true beginning, that we were actually the ones that went out and, you know, we did the television shows, we did the European tours, we, we did the big arena concerts. We're the ones that did that. And once people start understanding what we went through to do that, I think then uh, uh, we'll get the respect that we deserve. The late, great uh, Don Cornelius uh, yeah. had a huge yeah. impact on the business. Yeah. You know, what do you remember from Soul Train and Don Cornelius? Don Cornelius was uh, extremely nice to us. He came in to the dressing room, made sure we had everything. In fact, that clip is uh, uh, one show that we did out of three shows in two days, Solid Gold, uh, American Soul Bandstand. Train and American Bandstand. Yeah. Solid Gold. Into, yeah. Yes. Yeah, Dionne Warwick. She Amazing. was the host. Yeah. Greg Amazing. Smith, Dionne Warwick. Yeah. yeah. But, man, really. you were on the road with the Barkays and on yeah. the road with Parliament. How did they Parliament. take it? The Parliament or the See, now, Funksters, Parliament man. Funkadelic, they're, they're extremely cool. progressive guys. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you wanted to turn a party out, you put on a Parliament Funkadelic song. Flashlight, baby. So yeah. two weeks after Rappers Light comes out, uh -huh. we're opening up for Parliament Funkadelic. They're progressive. They weren't hating on us like, right. oh, those guys are just talking they over the music. They were probably so stoned they wouldn't even know the difference. Good wow. point. Yeah. Very good point. <laughs> that was the other thing. Are they singing or what are they doing? But what about when you're on with the Barcades? Because I heard you got hate from other bands. That was the thing. Yeah, some of them, they pulled the light, they pulled the plugs on, uh, uh, pulled the power, turned the lights on. So we had to straighten all that out in their dressing room mm -hmm. or just keep performing very well, I gotta watch my... You can say whatever you like. <laughs> no, the thing <laughs> is, here's the thing. Because people did not understand what we were doing, they were scared of it. So you, you gotta understand, our, uh, our Barcades, they've been making music for years. So here come these guys, and they called it talking, yeah. and you know, we were getting more attention than they were, you know, so they freaked them out. So we just kinda had to let them understand that we were just as uh, you know, uh, uh, worthy yeah. to be there as they were. I want my name back. This is this movie where you're out there trying to let everybody know that you want your name back on yes. this one. It took a while to get this film made. What's the one yeah. thing you want people to take from watching this film? We want people to understand that, first of all, we're not bitter. You know, we don't want what's not ours. We just want what we're entitled to. We want, we want our place in uh, music history. You got to check it out. I want my name back. Wonder Mike, Master G.